I would describe virtuals as environmental sanitation officers. Vultures are being driven into extinction in this country. And what is causing the decline? It's about wildlife trade. Vultures are being traded for different purposes. I think a lot of our beliefs and practices and our attitude towards vultures, African vulture in particular, comes from the fact that we don't understand them. We don't see any usefulness or, or need for them. It's important that we educate people. I find that a lot of people um, do things because of the limited knowledge that they have and that the more you know, the better you do. And it's important that we're able to reach people like that and educate them. I would describe virtuals as environmental sanitation officers. You know, in those days when we used to have what they call Wally Wally sanitation officers, they go into people's homes to ensure that people's, especially the sanitary part of the home, because that's where diseases can actually easily come into the population. So they make sure that all of those parts are well taken care of and things like that. So vultures are like those, the, the nature sanitation officers such that if there are carcasses where it is easy for uh, diseases to come into the human population through those carcasses, vultures go in there to clean up the places before the diseases find their way into the human population. Well, in Africa, we have about 11 species, but on, of, of those 11 species, about seven occur here in Nigeria. So you have the larger species uh, like the uh, white-backed vulture, the white-headed vulture, the lappet faced vulture, the rupels uh, griffon, those ones you find them mostly in, you, you found them most, mostly in uh, protected areas. I use the word found because we can consider them locally extinct in Nigeria. This is compared to in the, in the 80s, 90s, where you have them all over the place in national parks, especially used to be in Yankari Game Reserve, before Yankari Game Reserve would become a national park and back to Yankari Game Reserve again. We used to have loads of vultures. Sometimes when you see carcasses, especially of uh, elephant, when they were poached, you see over, over, over 100 vultures on the carcass trying to feed it so that they will clear it. So we have those uh, species. So we have the more cosmopolitan species. Uh, we have the hooded vulture and we have the palm nut vulture. And then you have one of these species that usually migrate uh, within the Balkans and, uh, and Nigeria. The northernmost part of Nigeria is east southernmost range. It's called the Egyptian vulture. Now, the Egyptian vulture is uh, is is one of, is is a, is a vulture that know, we know that migrates very frequently uh, within from Europe all the way to Africa and migrate back as well. So we have seven species of vultures that occur here in Nigeria. But the one that is very common as cosmopolitan is the hooded vulture. Vultures are being driven into extinction in this country. Um, when I was young, you go to any city, you go to the abattoir, and you will see vultures flying and hovering around, and within seconds, they have cleaned up all the mess that is around the abattoir. You don't see that anymore. Uh, some people, there hasn't been a systematic study of them. It's just now that we are getting our heads around that. But some people reckon that uh, the population of vultures in Nigeria has declined by between 70 to 90 percent in the last 40, 50 years, which is really a, a very serious issue. We find out in research conducted by different vulture experts that vulture is declining rapidly and what is causing the decline it's about wildlife trade vultures are being traded for different purposes so what we did in 2017 is to go to three southwestern states Oyo-Ogu and Ondo states uh, where we carried out a field survey in about 13 markets wildlife markets to be able to know what is the extent of trade who are the ones that are selling this vulture and why 
what is informing the sale of this vulture? Abaya mana harbu ungulu loka chenda taki ana salmon to ko ina ana ukusada mu kama shikara talatin zua ashirinde biada siku wote na dik ana salmon ungula iso wada babu gida jee dewa sana ukuma akwe yewe to mushi di enda mushi ya ya pata a ya 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 mtu idan kana so ka ga ungulu da mashi ne kusan signboard din mu a lokaci inda muke ganin ungulu za ganta ta zo tana jewa idan ta zo tana jewa to ka ganta sai mu dauko bindigo mu ko kwari da baka sai mu fi inda take inda rabo sai mu harba sannan kuma a yanzu ungulu ta yi mana nisa gura sai ka tafi guri mai nisa irin kamar Nasarawa state zuwa kamar irin su rivers haka wani yanki na rivers sannan yanzu ko kuma ka tafi wajen Niger har yanzu a inda ake samun ungulu kenan sannan kuma can din ma in ka je me makon inda muke samun su da da yawa zaka samu a rana a kamar sati ka harbu goma ko fiye da haka to yanzu ta kai matsayin da zaka iya zuwa kai wata guda ma ka je harbin baka ma samu komai ba sai dai ka dawo kawai ka kashe kudin motar ka wannan wannan a takeice wannan shi ne amma ni she gunu wan wara tun ma fin she ko ko da alitso kun ma fin she amma ni she gunu wan wara ni ba o je ti pe ki sha doto du ti gba ta wa ta ba wahala bane ba dan a yanzu idan kuka muka daura dabbara zuwa jeji muka shiga jeji to tun kafin mu shiga jejin da zamu shiga tunda dama zamu dan tsaya a gari mu yi sayayya to mukan tarar da su suna jiran mu ma a bakin garin wasu ma a cikin jejin komun nisan jeji suna da ababan hawan da za su biyo mu har ma idan muka harba su kawo mana kayan da zamu canji misali idan abinci muke da bukata za su kawo mana abinci mu kuma mu siyar musu su dauki kudin abincin su su ba mu sauran kudin mu eh kamar irin magarin da nake da sai san gulu daman ko da a can gidan zo amin tambayoyi kuma na ba da amsa naje daman ni ina amfani da idanunta ne bangaren maganin ciwon idanu to amma yanzu shine samu wani da ta fada hakukuwa wanda yake in na fare shi na nika da kwalli idan aka saka abin da idanun na ungulu da a idan mutun ke kyau to haka shi ma wannan fada hakukuwa zai yi daga idan mutun ra dauka mai da ya kamata maganin muna yin na sikila na farko kenan muna yin na koran aljannu daga jiki ya isa muna yin magani da su idan an yi wa mutun sihiri ana zuwa a siya a wajen mu wasu kuma ba mu san abin da suke da shi ba amma ana yawan saya kuma mu ma ga dan takaitaccen aikin da muke da shi major major causes of decline of most species is really habitat change but for certain species like vultures direct exploitation is really the major thing right now and that is the hunting the 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 poaching of its eggs uh, the catching it by snares shooting vultures uh, and so on and mostly for ritual purposes so the policies that would support bringing back the population of vultures have to address these threats to their populations uh, so you have to have policies that recognize vultures as an endangered species that are at the brink of extinction in the country and we have some of the right policies actually so it's not putting in place policies and regulation that is the problem because we have the endangered species decree in 1985 which is now the endangered species act and so we have a law which is strong which is uh, uh, actually which could work if it is implemented properly that looks at not just vultures but the safety and health of other endangered species in the country but the big problem is not the law not the policy but the implementation of we we have our forest the men in uniform they are paramilitary so they checkmate the activities of the illegal people the hunters the pushers 
the legal timber merchants from carrying out nefarious activities in our forests. And uh, we put them on the road too. The stop and, and search vehicles, vehicles that were coming from our forests and all the communities that are very close to our forests, which we think they can go there illegally and kill most of these endangered and uh, endangered uh, animals and the endangered tree, tree plants. Trading of these animals is illegal, and there is no legality in illegality. As such, anybody who is caught involving in such um, illicit trade will be handed over to the police and I can assure you necessary action will be taken on such the person will be prosecuted face the law accordingly in the last one and a half years we have made a, a, a lot of achievement one of such is to be able to identify who are the uh, users of vulture and the users of vulture are traditional healers uh, we worked with the Nigerian Association of uh, National Association of Nigerian Trado Medicine Practitioners in Nigeria to be able to sensitize them across two southern states and two northern states. We engaged them to sensitize them on the need to adopt other alternatives such as plant-based for their uh, concussion which they do because what we found out during our research uh, in 2017 was that vulture are being used for a whole lot of uh, uh, things uh, one of one of those uses are treatment treatment for some um, skin disease treatment for some eye problem treatment uh, for even epilepsy and even madness so we, we say, okay, look, this is, we can't say we should not continue to treat all of these uh, problems. But what we want is to be able to say, oh, can we have alternative which is not having animal um, components? Can we have plant is alternative? And luckily for us, the Tradoilas were very uh, receptive to our plants. They even came up with all of these um, plant-based alternative that we can use to replace vulture. You see, initially what we don't know supersedes you. Before you come for the NCF training, you have been using this vulture. But now, the day we enter the NCF training, we, it seems as if we, are, we don't know what we are doing initially. Because the plant, the root, and every other thing we now use, in fact, have 100% medicinal value, more than when we are using the vulture. Because, and it is even cheaper than using vulture. Initially, if you want to buy vulture, it is high money. But now, just go to the nearest bush in your area. You see the leaf, you see the plant, just take it. Then you use it for whatever what you want to use it for, without even thinking of the vulture itself. Of recent, in the course of our campaign and presentation uh, uh, for focus group discussions and meetings with the um, hunters and the other local uh, people, we were told that they've just cited a pair of hooded vulture. This is what they've not seen in many years. And also early this year, I personally, in the course of carrying out uh, research on the, we call it um, uh, bed count, winter bed survey of the Adejangulu wetlands in a particular state of Jigawa, locality of Jigawa states, we came across a pair also, a pair of hooded vulture. So that has been a record that has not been uh, record, uh, have not been cited or uh, spoken about in the past 20 years. Bana Amanta wa 2019 ambu amana training a wata kungiya nasi istamana training akam medena ampani da angulu menemi ita achi de kubare in abende angulu zatengi 
Allah da yake samu samu fa'ida sosai akan wannan workshop da aka mana a gidan zoo daga ga nan workshop mun samu dama da muke muke yi dinkice muka nemo itatuwa muka man ka ga wadannan itacen da yake hannu na haka duk abin da angulu za ta yi wannan abin da yake wada zai yi abin da ya shafi kanta gashin ta a dakin sa duk abin da angulu za ta yi magani wannan abu da na rike a hannu na ga su ya yi kwabare ne angulu gaba ɗayan ta wannan abu kuma a yanzu na daina amfani da sassan dabbobi gaba ɗaya da sassan angulu na da ina amfani da wannan garin magani ka gan shi ga irin mango da nake amfani da su ga irin sassake da sai da nake amfani da shi akan madadin angulu duk taimakon da ka kawo ka nemawa in dai angulu za ta yi wannan ma sai maka yin Allah yadda ani ba koi shi dudule da da ai mo wi pe ni lo eya won eran ko ta nso yi papa ko gara ko se ara lore so iwe te n ko se akojopo eyan iwe to ma se anfani fun gbogbo eniyan ni awa na ti le contribute si no eyi ta ba mo a tun a fi fun to ayin zu ma ya gama dole ma ko kana so ma ko baka so wannan training din ya dada wayen mana da kai wanda aka yi shi a nan gidan zu shekarar shekara daya ne ko bi da ta wuce ya wayan mana da kai akan yadda zamu kirkiro hanyoyin da zamu samu magungunan da za amfani da su wanda su replacing misali kamar a ce wanda su za su toshe hanyar dole sai an yi amfani da ungulu dan sun nuna mana muhimmancin ungulu sun nuna mana amfaninta a cikin al'umma kuma mun gamsu sannan ita ma wata halitta ce da Allah yi wanda ba a so ya zaman to an rasa ta a doran kasa haƙiƙa wannan orientation din da suke mana mun gamsu da shi kuma mun yi amfani da shi ba za mu ce 100 bisa 100 ba dan bayan an yi wannan din an je an dan bubbugo amma da gaskiya magana ta gaskiya yanzu akalla idan maharibin mu da yana zuwa ya harbu guda goma yanzu in ya je in yi samu daya ma dawowa yake to da dayan nan ka samu ta rufe maka kudin 20 din dama kuma gaskiya yanzu magungunan an canja su kansu ma wanda suke zuwa su ciya din za ga cewa su ma in sun zo muka gaya musu ga abin da muka je muka gani a can gidan zu ga abin da malaman daji suka fada ga yadda ga yadda shiga shiga sai aka canja in Allah da yanzu dai kau in Allah da dan yanzu kamar kwanakin baya ma an ga an ga ungulu guda daya a babura kaga kenan sun fara dawowa so da yo wannan canjin da aka samu madalla it's important that we educate people i find that a lot of people um, do things because of the limited knowledge that they have and that the more you know the better you do and it's important that we're able to reach people like that and educate them also we should not make the mistake of putting people in that category as just we tend to put people in that category as just being illiterate you know or being unintelligent let's just say that but I have noticed that there are different types of intelligence, different types of knowledge, and when they come to that awareness of what the vulture, a live vulture, what role it plays, even in the community in which that they find themselves, they will do better. First of all, vultures um, need to be conserved, and I think that much among you know the sphere of the entertainment scene, it's not a discussion that's had, right? So. my platforms i use them to talk to people about the benefits of vultures being conserved right because the environment needs them to clean up the ecosystem and then from you know the bacteria the pollution that comes from the carcasses of animals many people you know most times when i do a post about the vulture uh, conservation of vulture you hear people saying oh is it that same bird that has the you know the bowed head and everything and people don't understand that the chemistry of the vulture or rather the physiology of the vulture having the bowed is because of the head needing to be able to get into the carcasses deeply to pick up you know unwanted stuff so it's just made in a perfect way for that role it plays so i am using my platform i'm using the one on one conversations i'm also using you know every social media platform i am on uh the other big thing we are doing is actually uh, enlightenment and publicity we are working with press we are working with different players in order to really bring to the attention of nigerians the plight of vultures in nigeria and 
We are also working with the National Assembly to see how can we even tighten those already slightly tight regulations. We are also uh, working with not just the Ministry of Environment, which regulates and did this, we are working with the Ministries of Agriculture because another threat and cause of decline of vulture species in Nigeria is the medicine we use, the drugs we use for our livestock. Because when our livestock are sick, then we go to the vet doctor. Some of the medicines that the vet doctors give to give to these animals is toxic to vultures. So when those animals die, and when vultures feed on the carcasses of those animals, the, the vultures in turn die. And that is one of the major causes. So uh, a multi-pronged ap uh, approach to it. The other thing we are doing is also trying to assess the populations of the vultures so that we can track and see how far the decline is, is going so that we see where is the problem. Because in some parts of the country, you still find a, a, a few vultures. In other parts, they have completely disappeared. So doing research to try to understand all of that dynamics is necessary to gather that evidence so that you can propose well-informed decisions for it. Um, and then finally, where we want to get to is actually have a project on the ground that tries to bring back populations of vultures. So a real species conservation program that looks at uh, increasing the populations of vultures in a number of locations. What we do in, in Kano Zoo is that because the zoo is, uh, is an accessible biodiversity conservation area, <clears throat> it brings about a population of vultures here. And what we hope is that by putting them in a breeding program, we are going to let them multiply and then try, try and see if we can establish populations of them in the natural area. And then again, there is the education part of it. You know, the, the zoo provides you with an opportunity to to interact with a lot of people and then our, our, <clears throat> our staff try to educate them on the on the plight of the vulture and all other animals too and then by doing so we are helping in the conservation of the species i think a lot of our beliefs and practices and our attitude towards vulture african vulture in particular comes from the fact that we don't understand them we don't see any usefulness or or need for them because we judge them by their appearance. And remember the popular saying, never judge a book by its cover. So never judge a bird by its boldness. Because the vulture is bold, doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's evil. That's a general belief. Traditional people will believe vultures are evil. They are associated to witchcraft because, not for any spiritual fact or scientific fact, just because they look unattractive to a lot of people, they think they must be evil. But no, every creature is beautiful in its own right. That will be my message to people practicing such, to find alternatives and let vultures thrive. See beyond the physical appearance. See onto their unique importance in cleaning the environment. Imagine everything that dies in the planet or on the planet Earth is not cleaned up by vultures or scavenging animals. Those things will stay there and rotten. They contribute to the bad smell in the environment. They will harbor microbes, dangerous microbes, to proliferate, uh, proliferate to multiply. But vultures come in to sweep up, mop up all this flesh of dead animals in the desert, in the jungle, in the cities, in the canals. They do the cleaning up. They are cleaning agents, and we must allow them to thrive as such. Oun ti ijoba ba so wi pe kini yi ma de be o e je ka gba pe ko de be ifun lilu eranko ijoba ni so wi pe o lodi si ofin ile nigeria eni ti o ba si fe se lewon ni no ni segun ibile ko ja wo nbe lati lo ati papa amoran mi ni wi pe ewe ati ebo o se anfani o se ara lore 
ju lilo eya eran ko lo oro olorun gbo so wi pe ka bowo fun awon alase ka gbo nkan ti awon alase ti won so inu bibeli papa ati ninu quran ko si bi kan te le si te le ba wi pe eya eran ko bayi ko ni ke lo lo awa ta se ise yi la mu la mu yen mo fun ra wa ko si ohun to jo ewe egbo ni olorun da fun wa lati fi se ewe san julẹ so mo ro gbogbo wa pata pata e je ka jawo ninu lilo eya eranko papa igun eya igun tori eya igun o se wa lanfani olorun da won ni eye sinu gbo ni ni tooto amo ore wa oni won se o luran lowo wa oni won se ta ba si wo igun ta nso yi o tin ton lo idi ni ti ajakale arun to fi npo to ba je laye igba kan ki nkan ba ku si bi kan igun eyo kan se so to ba wa lo kere lo na to jin o tin ri a pa won egbe wa won wa pale mo ko si we mo nisin so awon nkan to je ki ajakale arun ko ti bo ma po si ni e je ka jawo ni mo gba wa la mo ko si amoran ta le gba awon eyan wa ti o je pe awon oko loro si tonja olori kunkun ti won gbo ohun ti won wi ju pe ki awon na gba ohun ti ijoba n wi kan afi kan gba ohun ti ijoba n wi nitori pe ijoba ijoba ra lu ni ohun ton ba de fe la gbodo tele a ba na ba de wu wa ri pe ajakale an ko lo dodo tele tele ajakalo arun po tu bayi tori aje an je ka mo pe igun lori si rise an to mo kan la ti pa ti pa won fi ri meta bayi nda pe nkan ni mo kan la ta wa nri ejo meta se ko ti koja aya fi ki awon eyan wa ti won je ko loro si ti won o gbo ki won jawo nbe ati dupe lodo olorun pe ati gbo pe lati la usa nisin won ri gura mo se mo pe awon ti won pa awon na towo omo won ba so ni eh ton ba le si towo ba so igboran ko o san je bo riru lo gege mi se so tele olorun agba mo the public can help a lot in stemming the decline in vultures uh the first thing members of the public need to do is to change their views about vultures when you go out to the streets and you say vulture then the reaction you get is mostly negative some say no those are dirty creatures some even go to say no these are evil creatures <laughs> that they are bad omens and so on now once you have that negative reaction to a species it means you are not going to value that species very well you are not going to appreciate the value of that species or that organism uh, to your life and to human life in general so that's the first thing really take away this negative perception and replace it with a positive perception the second thing the public need to do is to reduce the demand for vulture parts in these traditional rituals and healing when you go to your medicine man if you do <laughs> then <laughs> when they tell you go and get this of vulture or buy this of vulture ask them are there alternatives is there something else we can do can we use plant parts and like i said the traditional healers association are coming on board with their own suggestion on this and therefore if you don't use those vulture parts much you don't demand for them then you will reduce the uh, hunting and killing of vultures <laughs>